Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back in Kerbal Space Program, looking at my majestic, majestic rocket of exploration. Um, we're going to take off, and we're going to go on a ride to Duna. Everything's looking sweet. I don't play this game as much as I really should. And I don't know this game as much as I really should. <laughs> this is a complicated game. There's something satisfying about launching, but designing and launching a rocket. This is my own design. Um, I just hope it's fit for purpose. Um, I am currently on a mission to Duna, which, if you, if you were going down the comparison route, would be like Mars and the Red Planet. She's far away. Um, I often put my feet on the moon and Nimbus, but not often gone into the solar system like this. And I have an interesting payload. So everything is looking rosy. And it's a lovely day. Weather is in our favour. I put some mods in this game and different flame effects. And uh, I have Kerbal Alarm Clock, uh, MechJeb, Kerbal Engineer as well, but you actually need to update Kerbal Engineer. Man, these boosters last a long time. Oh, didn't cloud. 3k up. Not 3k, 300 meters. Oh no, 3k, yeah, no, mate. Oh my god. I'm going to space, that's where I'm going. I know you're all thinking, what's inside the what's inside the uh, the shell? Very right, tricky. Ooh, there's the sun. Blue sky. I'll pick up some speed here now. Now I have her throttled down because the engine I have on this is probably very OP uh, on this, but. Again, I'm no rocket scientist. I'm pretending to be, but I ain't no rocket scientist. Ooh, we're getting some atmospheric effects. As long as I don't catch fire, I'll be okay. <laughs> okay, we're almost approaching booster sep. See the lovely curvature of Kerbin. Isn't that lovely? And the atmospheric halo. <laughs> okay, almost out of fuel. Come on. Don't collide. I know my. Uh, I know I put the ridiculously big wings on this. Oh yeah, look at that epic frame rate. Oh, destroyed by forces and heat. Okay, well the shoots I had don't look like they're going to have any much fun. So we're not going to be recovering these. So we had parachute failure, but the rocket was not touched. It's all good. Okay, let's hit 400-ish K. Ooh, there's the moon. We're going to hit for a 100-ish K orbit. And we can work on that from there. The blackness of space. In space, no one can hear you fail. There you go. Do, 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 do. Those lovely blue flames. This is looking okay. I uh, as takeoffs and you know orbit insertions go. I decided to go full throttle on this. I know it's probably going too fast, but I kind of want to get up my uh, orbital speed.
Ooh, we're getting some effects. Don't explode. I think, okay, we're 16k. 16.5k up. I think we could bear with some heating. I don't see anything too crazy about this. Oh, look at that lovely. Lovely shot of the ground below. Do, do, do. Moon. The moon is ahead of us, but we're not going there. Oh, no. Don't know how long this video will be, or whether I'll break it up into parts. So we're getting quite hot. Yeah. Maybe I should break it up into parts. Maybe do three-ish videos, maybe. You know, get to orbit. Do the um, rendezvous with Duna. And do the landing on Duna. Here's me. Yeah, I'm going to do three. I mightn't even get into freaking orbit here. Don't worry, it's just a bit of fire. <laughs> it's just a bit of fire. We're at 25k. Periapsis is going up nicely. Or apoapsis, even. We're creating a nice fireworks show for the, the peeps below. And it gives a nice contrast against the black sky. As long as you don't hit any debris up here, we'll be doing A-OK. -okay. I must say I like the look of this rocket. I wonder what the payload is, I hear you ask. I assume you're asking. <laughs> Put on some kind of extra stuff just for looks on both the rocket and the payload. You know, just for just for shits and giggles. You know, because you got it, form over function. You know, it, it has to look kind of cool as well. And yes, I'm having some graphical. Weirdness on the dark side of the planet. But uh, you'll probably see that in a little bit more detail if we go around the dark side. Do, do, do. Now, let's set our orbit maneuver. Because I don't have a team of scientists to do this for me. Hello, silence, my old friend. Maybe I could have afforded to put on some more CS on this, because she's a big bulk. Ooh, some things are glowing red. I thought we were going to have a night takeoff, so I fitted some lights on the ship. But um, the alarm clock... Drop me in a daytime, which I'm not complaining. Some distant galaxies in the periphery of our vision. Na, 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 na. So guys, do you play this often? You're probably far better than I at it. But um, I fail far, far far more times that I succeed in this game but it's persistence but uh, I watch some people on this you know on twitch and stuff that are just amazing at this let's open our lovely solar panels they're kind of glowing red or maybe it's just me I can still be hot <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, we finally got to our maneuver angle. And pedal to the metal. Let's do this. And the rockets roar. Bit of oscillation, bit of a wobble. Nothing too crazy. Nothing that we can't handle. Got a lovely blue marble beneath us. Now, as we're going into the solar system, I could jettison the shroud at the top of the ship, but I've decided to leave it on, you know, to save us from like space dust and stuff, and maybe some cosmic shielding. You know, I'm, I'm kind of going with the fidelity of that reasoning. Okay. Sweet. Now it's time to get the funk out of here. And I know you're probably at home screaming, this is not how you do it. But this is how I do it. Until I learn how to do it. And again, this is where I should have fitted some more RCS. To make my life easier. And yeah, I didn't do any key binds or anything like that. I had to deploy all this manually because that's just the way I roll. <laughs> I have the time. I have the time. I thought these looked cool. Not that I need them. Mm -hmm. So not much fuel left in the lift stage, but we'll use it. What I'm hoping is we might destroy the bulk of it. There's the lights. Very bright. Now you're probably going to see the weirdness. I'm having some issues with my AMD graphics. Only certain games. I'm not too sure. Still working on a fix. There's the weirdness. That doesn't bother me too much. Now let's go outside the SOI, or Sphere of Influence, as our rockets roar. Now, easy does it. Oh, yes, it exploded. Oh, didn't. Okay, it exploded the vast majority of it. I was hoping it would get the entire thing. And there's our little ship. That's what's going to get us to Duna. I hope. Look at all the crap that we left behind. <laughs> I'm sure we'll send someone up to get rid of that. Or, it'll just time out as it goes out of physics range. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Do, 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 do. The little engine is the poodle, by the way. The little poodle that could. Hmm. As you can see, I have some weird orbit things here. This is my kind of sandbox save. Nothing too crazy. I have no space industry set up in this game at all. I've tried. I failed. I just like having fun. I play games as they're meant to be played.
to be enjoyed. these little areas again no great function but I think they look kind of cool nice shine of the Sun on our solar panels and the Kerbin way is highlighting our backdrop there or the milky Kerbin I don't know I'm sure there's a name for that In there. Oh, just had an encounter with the moon. And we're outside. Excellent. We're on the way. Look at that weirdness. The weirdness of it all. Sometimes you log in and it'll be fine. It's weird. I've removed my graphics drivers. Put them back on. But there must be some conflict somewhere. Goodbye, the comfort of Corbin's gravitational pull. And now we are being guided by the sun. Poof. Da da. Dee 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 dee. Stay tuned for part two. If you liked what you saw, why not hit the like and subscribe button? And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.